G'day, in this video we're going over our modifications or upgrades that we've done to our 2016 Hilux. Trading Hilux. Yes. Called? Snowflake. Why? Because you named it. You wanted eye candy and you had to rethink it. So it's Snowflake. Why is it Snowflake? Because it's unique. Every snowflake's unique. Every little tiny minuscule snowflake <laughs> is different. As is our Hilux. Yes. So we've got a few to go through. Um, from front to back. back side to, to side. <laughs> back to front. Mishaps. All the good and the bad and the indifferent. Uh, let's get started. Cool. things we did we decided to put a dual battery in it because we've got a fridge freezer battery and down here we've got our red arc BC DC uh, charger stretch loud noise we've modified our number plate with a zip tie <laughs> we, we did this mod ourselves we put a zip tie on it works a treat all right, so we've got a bumper bar, which was one of the first things we put on. It's solid, it's solid steel. Um, and we got it bought it and got it installed at opposite lock, which was really, really good. They were great. Um, it's got a little bit of corrosion on it. Part of that's from where we live. You'll see that down here. Um, and that's part of it. We need to do a bit of maintenance. It doesn't affect the structure, but it definitely affects the aesthetics look. So you lose a bit of that black look, but we'll get onto that over time. We've had it about three years, I think now. Uh, not long ago we got our Cooper tyres, they're just all terrains, um, they're a discovery tyre and they're just standard. Uh, we haven't got a lift kit on the car as of yet. Okay, so we did the door handles, uh, they're just a stick on, uh, we got them off eBay and they we had chrome look and we wanted the black look just to give it a nicer look for us, prettier up for in our minds. You'll notice there's a little bit of chrome, it's just where your key and stuff like that goes in. But overall I don't think it affects uh, the look of it. One of the things when we put this on, I was a bit worried about when we washed the car, just so you know, I washed the car. And um, I was worried it would come off as soon as I got the gurney near. And we've had it probably two, three years, close to not long after we got the car, we put them on and they're sturdy. So if you ever think of getting them, do it. They're great. We got a Dash Eclipse side awning. Uh, we got one of the largest ones because we figured, you know, it's got to cover a big area and stuff like that. Um, it's really, really good. The only downfall I'd say is the zippers um, flick in the wind, but you can zip time together, but then you've got to cut it every time you use it. So it's a catch 22. Uh, we got a snorkel put on it. Didn't have a snorkel. All cars that are four wheel drive look better with a snorkel and work better with a snorkel. Hence, our safari snorkel. We got uh, opposite lock to put that on when they did the bull bar. Has it been in the water? She's never been in water. She's been through a couple of puddles and very low river crossings but no real water yet, but she'll get tested. Uh, we also got the windows tinted. The other ones weren't too bad, but these are heaps better. Keeps the car nice and cool. Even though it's a white car, it does get a bit warm. The tinting works really well. We got it done by Tinter Car. Okay, next up we've got the roof rack, Rhino roof rack. We've not really used it, except for we hang a shovel and an awning off it. The story time though, it did lose a little bolt, or maybe a bigger bolt on the Birdsville development track and if anybody knows about the development track it's corrugated for about mm, a whole day's driving and I think we hit a washout as well which didn't help uh, so we lost the bolt and then the roof rack was jumping up and down and then to fix it uh, we tied it down with ratchet straps and once we got to Birdsville then uh, found an Irishman to fix it for us. Next up we've got the canopy by TC Boxes. We've already done a video on that, so you can uh, hopefully go to this link here and have a look at that. Um, but we've had this recently. It's only mm, a few months, but not been used because we're in a pandemic and we can't get out. Uh, so we've not been able to use it yet. So with the canopy, it's a lift on, lift off, but we actually have it bolted down to a flatbed tray. So we did take off the original tray that was on Snowflake uh, the Toyota tray and it was an aluminium tray took that off and then put on a, um, a flatbed tray so it doesn't have a what do you call that thing headboard. so it doesn't have a headboard um, and the wild tail locks were upgraded uh, 
I think they come in silver and we had them upgraded to black. Along with the canopy we also got the under storage boxes, uh, they're the 750 size, again that's in the other video that we've got so you can have a look at that. That's for storing our tools and such, easy access uh, when we're stuck, although we kind of don't like being stuck. And then we've just recently also had two jerry can holders put on. Um, again, we learn a lot by going out to Birdsville um, on the same truck. We thought we had enough fuel, turns out we didn't have enough fuel, rookie mistake. Uh, we learned that driving into a headwind you'll use a bit more fuel. We should have already known that. Um, but it wasn't our actual plan to go down that track anyway. We were supposed to go down another way and just got caught up in the whole situation of going to Birdsville and went down the developmental track. And uh, it was lucky that we still got all the nuts and bolts, I think. Um, but anyway, so we've got a jerry can holder now so that we can carry some extra diesel and also some water when we're not going on uh, long distances. Uh, so the water will be good to carry around when we're um, having lots of showers, free camping. Yeah. One of the things we'd been looking around before we got the canopy and everything like that was for a clear view easy slide. It makes life a lot easier when you're out camping. You can take your fridge and bring it out down to a good level so it's accessible. One of the other things we got done was Red Arc electric brakes because we tow a camper trailer which has got a bit of weight in it and we need to be able to stop. So we definitely had to get electric brakes, it's the law, um, but we would have got them anyway, it's just a safety thing. So And they work a treat. So that's it from us. Subscribe like and any questions ask below thanks for watching cheers looks like the shovel could do some work <laughs>